You use 11 fortieths of a roll of toilet paper daily. If you have two and three fourths rolls of toilet paper left, how many days can you make it before you run out of toilet paper? So I'm going to go change the opacity, go back to a regular thickness, and then I'll try to draw what we have. So we have one roll of toilet paper, two rolls of toilet paper, and then we have one that's a little bit smaller. We have three-fourths of a roll. Okay, so that doesn't look great, but that's supposed to represent our two and three-fourths rolls of toilet paper that we have left. And um, you use 11 fortieths of a roll of toilet paper each day. So basically, we're trying to figure out how many 11 fortieths of a roll fit inside of two and three force rolls. So we can figure out how many days left before you run out of toilet paper. So basically what we're doing is we're taking two and three force roll rolls and we're dividing it by 11 fortieths of a roll. We're dividing it into that size groupings. So the first thing we need to do when we're dividing with fractions is we need to make sure that both are fractions. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to multiply the whole number and the denominator. 2 times 4 is 8. And then I'm going to add to that, I'm going to add the numerator to that. And I get 11. And then the denominator remains a 4. So 2 and 3 fourths is equivalent to 11 fourths. Now that both are fractions, the second step is to figure out if they have common denominators. They do not have common denominators. So now we're going to apply the least common multiple method to figure out the least common denominator. And basically, when we're using the least common multiple method, we're just counting by, first of all, the first denominator. So I'm going to count by fours. So four. 8, 12, it's probably easier to type this. Let me go to typing. So then after 12, I'm at 16, plus 4 is 20, plus 4 is 24, plus 4 is 28, plus 4 is 32, plus 4 is 36, plus 4 is 40, plus 4 is 44, etc. Then over here, I'm going to count by 40s. So 40, and then 80, and then really, I didn't have to count because the first number, oh, I need to go back to scribble. The first number, the first multiple is the multiple that four and 40 have in common. The multiple they have in common is 40. The least common multiple or the smallest multiple they have in common is 40. So we need both of these denominators to be 40. So the only fraction we need to change is the 11 fourths. So I need a little bit of room, so I'm gonna erase my picture over here. And then I'm going to change 11 fourths so that it has a denominator of 40. So I'm going to multiply four by 10 to get to 40. So I have to also multiply the numerator by 10 and I get 110 fortieths. So I'm going to replace 11 fourths. I'm going to replace 11 fourths with 110 fortieths. We keep the 11 fortieths the same because it already has a denominator of 40. And then to figure out the numerator, you divide the numerators. So 110 divided by 11 is 10. And then to figure out the denominator, you divide the denominators. 40 divided by 40 is 1. That gives us the denominator, the new denominator. And then 10 divided by 1 is equal to 10. 
we need to figure out our units and reread the question to make sure we really answered it. So we're being asked, how many days can you make it before you run out of toilet paper? Well, 10 days, because 11 fourths fits into 2 and 3 fourths 10 times. So you have 10 days of 11 fourths of a roll of toilet paper.